Is there anything else but, I can do for you? But, hold on, you're telling me, are you telling me that I'll I'll get you next time is not a threat? We talked to the same people down here, including him. All the time. All the time. So, so you're saying it's not a threat, it's a promise? No, I, I didn't say that. I said it is what it is. The officer indicated that uh, she'll check with him later. No, she said I'll get you next time. And maybe she will and maybe she won't. But that's not a threatening statement, sir. Not my well, she Well, it was her belief that she's going to get him. So. Talk to this gentleman every day. Sometimes he's doing it. Sometimes he's doing it. Sometimes he's cooperating. Sometimes he's not. So I appreciate that you feel like it was a threat, but it really wasn't. We have to deal with the situation as it is unfolds behind us. He was very aggressive. I was here. And sometimes we have to respond in kind to make him calm down, which he did. So what do we need to do to resolve this? Today? I appreciate you're not going to, you don't like my opinion, or you may, we may agree to this. Well, I, I definitely think that you handled the situation a lot better than um, the previous officer I spoke with. Well, I get a dollar more an hour than those folks, so. Um, but I know he was upset. I know the officer was upset. I was here. I covered her on it. She called for cover because she thought that maybe he might get more aggressive than that. And, you know, we have to deal with these guys all the time. And, and you know, today... But, I mean, at the same time, they have to deal with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but, you know, we have a job to do. And, uh, and uh, you know, what a part of it is dealing with people who drink too much. And we check these cans. And, like, today, uh, he wasn't drinking. But tomorrow he might be. Or yesterday he might be. So... He's a regular down there. He knows all of us. We know all of them. But I'll talk to the officer um, because she could have kept her voice down in, in my view. And uh, I supervise the entire beach. So you have my word that I'll talk to her about how she handled okay. it. And uh, we'll look at some strategies to handle it better. All right. I mean, all, all I want to see is police officers upholding your law. Well, she I mean, I, I've seen, broken here well I'm, I'm just telling you, like, I've seen a lot of. A lot of laws broken by police officers okay, in this but country. We're just talking about this incident, and no laws were broken today. Okay. Okay. So you know, I get. I, well, I, 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 I feel. I, I feel like him uphold the law too, but no laws. I feel like she's today. she's slightly infringed upon the constitutional his his right to remain secure in his that's, person. I, I, but, I understand that, but that, that, that's not something that anybody enforces. Okay. <laughs> you can. So, so you're telling me that you guys don't enforce the constitution? What I'm saying is, no laws were broken today. Okay, but what about the Constitution for this man to be if you secure like, as person? If you would like to retain counsel and sue the city of San Diego for what you saw. I don't want to sue the city of San Diego. Okay, I want I want police officers to stop abusing their, their power. That's what I would like to see. Okay. We're just talking about this incident. Are we good? Because I'm not sure how far we... We can talk about the Constitution all day long. But uh, I don't. Nobody's rights were violated today. He was free to go the minute she determined that uh, there was no alcohol in that can. Granted, he was upset. The officer, uh, in kind, responded. But okay. okay. All right. Well. All right. Oh, sorry. My hand is broken. Oh well, I didn't know that. Oh, All right. Take care.